Hey everyone, so this is our first section officially in chapter four. Last week we just did some review skills of lines and basic algebra foundational um, concepts. And this section we are going to officially start chapter four. So what we're gonna learn to do is how to solve systems of linear equations by graphing. So what we're gonna learn about in this chapter is that actually guys, there are, um, three different ways to solve a system. Um, the first way that we're going to talk about is graphing. Um, and you'll learn about what the other ones are. And let's just do a little refresher. What is a system of equations? A system of equations is two or more equations containing the same variables. This is what they look like. We've got two linear equations, and they'll have this curly bracket sometimes. We could have three, we could have four, it says two or more. The solution to a system, what is the solution to a system that has the same variables? It's an ordered pair, so remember an ordered pair is like x comma y. So a solution is not x equals. You know how sometimes we say x equals? That's our answer. That is not a solution to a system. A solution to a system is an x comma y. It's on both lines. It is the intersection point of the two lines. So where these two lines meet, where they intersect, that's the solution. In order to be a solution, the ordered pair must be a solution in both equations. Okay? So let's check out first. Um, it says, determine if the ordered pair is a solution of the system of linear equations. So this first problem, we need to, basically we're just um, substitution. We're just substituting here. So when they give me a point, I have an X and I have a Y. And we're gonna substitute the X and the Y into both of these equations and we need to get true statements. So we do this first one, X minus Y equals 10. My x is 2, my y is negative 8. Notice I've got the subtraction, minus 8. So I have a 2 minus a negative 8 equals 10. 2 minus negative 8, two negatives make a positive. And 2 plus 8 gives me 10, that's true. And then we just come behind here and check the other equation. Our other equation is y equals 2x minus 12. Well, y is negative 8 equals 2 times the x, which is 2 minus 12. Negative 8 equals 2 times 2, 4 minus 12. Negative 8 equals 4 minus 12 is negative 8. When I have true statements, we can say yes, 2 comma negative 8 is a solution to the system. Okay? Let's try another one. It says for B, negative one, negative five, is it a solution here? So we're gonna substitute it in. Again, here's my X and here's my Y. I've got two fifths times my Y value, which is negative five, equals my X, which is negative one, minus one. Um, remember when we multiply fractions, we go straight across, and I did the whole number over one. So I'm gonna get two times negative five, is negative 10 over 5 times 1 is 5 equals negative 1 minus 1 gives me negative 2. I can do this division. Negative 10 divided by 5 is negative 2 equals negative 2. Oh, that works. And then I get to test it again. I'm going to have x minus y. x minus y does that equal 6. My x value is negative 1 minus a negative 5 equals 6. Negative 1 plus 5 gives me 4. It doesn't equal 6. So we'll have to say no, negative 1 comma negative 5 is not a solution. Okay. So that's how we just determine if an ordered pair is a solution. We have to substitute it in. The next type of problems that we're going to see in this section is how to solve by graphing. So in this section, it says um, we've got two steps, okay? Our first step says graph each line and then find the intersection point. And that intersection point is the solution, okay? 
So let's remember here when we graph, we start with the b value. So I've got negative 1, and then we use our slope. My slope here is 1. That gives me a rise of 1 and a run of 1. And I'm just going to do a bunch of these points because one of these points is my solution. That should be good. Okay, that's that first one. Now let's draw the other one. My y-intercept is 3, and my slope is a negative 1. So I'm going to rise 1, run 1. Now I can keep going right here, but notice where are these going to intersect down here. So I'm going to go down 1, over 1, down 1, over 1, down 1, over 1, and so on. And you can see the exact point they intersect. Okay, the exact point they intersect is right there. My solution is 2, 1. Okay, and guys, we can check this by substituting it back in. So remember, here's your x and here's your y. I could do 1 equals 2 minus 1, just plugging from that equation. 1 equals 1, that works. And then I'll plug into the other one. My y negative 2 plus 3, um, 1 equals, that works again. Okay, so we can check. Let's do this next one here. I have y equals x, so my um, y in, my y intercept is 0. That's why it's not there, because we wouldn't really write plus 0. My slope is a 1, so we'll put in some points here. Okay, that should be good. I'll draw a line. And then I'll draw this other one. We've got um, my slope, my y intercept is 4, and my slope is 3 over 1. So I rise 3, 1, 2, 3, and I run 1. Again, 1, 2, 3. Like there, it's, I'm not going to find my intersection there, so I've got to go down. So 1, 2, 3 over 1, 1, 2, 3 over 1, 1, 2, 3 over 1. And boom, you can see our intersection point is right here at negative 2 comma negative 2. Okay, and we can check the same way, substituting them back in. Let's check out um, a different type of problem. We've got problem 3. It says find the solution of the systems, then write the equation of the lines. Um, we got this. Okay, our solution is where the lines intersect. Boom, there's my solution. Equation 1, it doesn't matter which one you want to use. I'm just going to say this is equation 1 and this is equation 2. So equation 1, I need my slope my slope, and my y-intercept. Okay, let's start with my y-intercept is right here. That's 3. So I'm going to say y equals, I'm going to leave a space for my slope plus my y-intercept. And then from this intersection point, and the y-intercept, I'm going to use my slope. So I've got 1, 2, 3, 4 is my rise, 1 is my run. There's my slope. And then let's do the same thing for equation 2. My y-intercept is negative 2. So I'm going to leave a space for my slope, and then I'm going to just come from my y-intercept to the intersection point, rise 1, run 1 in the negative direction. My slope is a negative 1 which really we know we can write as negative x minus 2. Okay, let's look at b. My solution is where they intersect. They intersect right here at 2 comma negative 1. Let's say this is equation 1 and this is equation 2. Well, equation 1 is a horizontal line that intersects at y equals negative 1, so that's the, so the, the equation of the line. And then we've got equation 2, the y-intercept is 4, and the slope from that intersection point, um, rise 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and run 2, and it is going in the negative direction, so I've got negative 5 halves, negative 5 over 2. Okay, and then the um, last problem we're going to look at here is just a word problem. So it says, today the temperature in New York is negative 1 degree and is expected to rise 3 degrees per day. Right away, we know we can write the equation, okay? The temperature in New York is negative 1 degree. That means this is where we're starting, 
and is expected to rise three degrees per day. Per day, this is something changing. So if we have something changing, if something's being changed, that's our slope, and your B is your starting value. So once we know that, we can write our equation. Y equals M, which is 3X plus B minus 1. Let's say it's 6 degrees in Alaska. Okay, 6 degrees, that's our starting point. And expected to fall 1 degree every 2 days. So that gives me 1 degree it's going to lose every 2 days. Changing. Okay, that's going to give me my slope. How much it's changing. And the starting point is the B. My equation is negative 1 half x plus 6. I'm just using for my equation y equals mx plus b. That should be like right at the front of our minds. So it says graph each equation and determine how many days it will take for the temperature to be the same. Where it's the same, guys, is where it's, go it's going to be intersecting. So let's graph these. Um, let's graph New York first. So here's New York, um, a y-intercept of negative 1 and a slope of 2, of 3. 1, 2, 3, rise, run 1. 1, 2, 3, 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 run 1. Here's my equation for New York, and we can label that. And how about I get a different color in here? Alaska. We have a y-intercept of 6. And notice my slope is a negative 1 half. So I'm going to go down 1 over 2. Oh, right there. We just found it, right? I don't have to keep going. Here is my graph for Alaska. So in how many days the temperature in both cities will be what? So this is my intersection. That gives me 2 comma 5. So on the x-axis, we have days. On the y-axis, we have degrees. So in two days, the temperature in both cities will be 5 degrees. Before two days, it will be colder. So think about here's two days. It's going to be colder, the one on the bottom, in New York. And after two days, it's going to be colder, the one on the bottom, in Alaska. Okay, so graphing lines and finding solutions is really important and not too bad, right, guys? We know how to graph lines. We're just doing more to interpret the graphs and their intersection points. Great work, everyone. This is 4.1.